breaking news right now. This incredible photo shows a private plane suspended in midair, as you can see, stuck to power lines. All right, this is crazy. We got a plane dangling from power lines in Waycross, Georgia. It was across from a middle school. And can you imagine the kids across the middle school seeing this happen? I mean, this pilot was definitely flirting with danger with all, look at all these lines everywhere. Um, luckily, he wasn't injured. I believe it was one patient. Uh, he was weak. He had some lacerations to his face, according to the fire department. Um, but he was alert and answering questions, and they got him to the hospital. So here you can see the firefighters are on scene. If you're new to this channel, we go over aviation news, and then we try to look at it from a firefighter's perspective, see what the firefighters are doing, and then we comment below pilots that maybe have flown the aircraft before or um, firefighters that are retired and like to chip in on some of their ideas on what have happened. But basically in this scene, when you're looking at it, you don't want to rush in when it comes to power lines. So at first, you might hear people crying for help, but you want to think that in the fire service, we didn't start the emergency. You're there to make it better. You're, mer you're there to make the scene better. So you're going to wait and we're going to call to make sure that these power lines are not um, live. You know, we want to make sure that the company shuts down these power lines. And then once it's safe and we know they confirmed it, now they can bring in this ladder and try to extend it to get to this um, pilot who's in this aircraft. And then these firefighters on the ground here are just making sure that the pilot doesn't fall down and they can easily... Um, access the pilot and then make sure that they can transport them but again i mean you got to watch out for this you don't know how strong this connection is the aircraft could come down so you don't want to be around this aircraft you want to stabilize it but yeah you can see here they're bringing that ladder extending it to the patient go ahead access make sure they're okay get them off get them to the hospital that's pretty much what's going on in this scene and this um, speaking of the power, so this crash knocked out power to 300 homes and businesses. And you can see how far um, this aircraft affected, how big of an area here. And then you're going to call the, this is after the scene is done. So the fire department has left. Now there's just a plane to deal with. And now this is the electric company. They've got to deal with this poles bent. You know, there's a lot of damage that happened to these connections and then they have to figure out how to get this aircraft um, down. So I don't know if they're going to cut the power lines or use use the machinery to get this aircraft down and then get all this stuff situated and get power back to the community. But it happened here at Waycross Ware County Airport. And so you can see the airport's right here. It's really close, probably within a mile. So the pilot took off from runway 19 here. And he flew, came up. They said it, it crashed across from middle school. So here's Ware County Middle School. And then it was between um, intersection of McKinley Road and Bell Street. So Bell Street is here. McKinley Road is here. So I believe it was in the power line somewhere in this area. So again, I mean, crazy. You don't see this every day. I mean, that's just ridiculous, you know, to see something like this. And um, it would be more ridiculous if uh, you didn't subscribe to my channel. So I'm trying something new. If you want to subscribe and you like this kind of content, you can go ahead and click. There should be a red watermark right here. So that would be even more ridiculous if you could subscribe to my channel. So thanks. See you guys next time.